Hello and welcome. Today I'm so freaking excited because we've made it to the culinary capital of South America, Lima, Peru, and being a lover of food and home cooking, I just had to plan out a couple of fun things to do while we were in the city. So today I will be participating in a private cooking class where I'll be learning how to make four classic Peruvian dishes and you literally have no idea how excited I am for this. So I've spent several hours trying to find the best cooking class in Peru because we are paying this out of pocket. I want to find the one with the best value and the one with dishes that I've been really wanting to learn how to make. And so I found this cooking class that offers four dishes in their Peruvian classics course. And so today we will be making Casa Rellena, which we have not even tried yet. So I'm really excited to try that today. And then it'll be followed by ceviche, lomo saltado, and then we'll be ending with some picarones. Oh, they have this really nice magnetic soap that just like kind of clicks there, so very smart way of doing it. <laughs> so I'm currently squeezing some limes for our pisco sour, which we're going to start off with. And apparently you're only supposed to squeeze the lime twice in this thing so you don't get those bitter tastes from the skin of the lime. I did not know that, so I already learned something. <laughs> So we are currently making the dough for the picarones because there's yeast in it, it actually has to rise. So we need to make it beforehand before we make anything else. So we just chopped up some squash and some sweet potato and then we added in some anise seeds. And what you do is you put that on the stove with some water and then it will boil and it'll get soft enough that you can mash it into a paste like this. And of course they already have it ready for us so we don't have to wait several hours for it to be ready. Um, and so now we are going to continue the process. We just added in the yeast and I'm mixing in the little fellas. <laughs> and they're gonna work their magic. And we just added in the last ingredient which is just all purpose flour and we mix it up into this nice little dough. Ah, well I get to do it. I don't know if I'm strong enough for this. <laughs> nice. Whoa. It's like cheese. Yeah, <laughs> that's so cool. A little pinch of salt. Then we're gonna add in the yellow chili paste. A little dash of pepper. And then one spoon of oil. Whoop. So we just made the mashed potato for the calsa. And then he just cut up some chicken that he actually boiled with celery and carrots. And we are going to assemble it with some avocados. And I'm really excited to finally make the little cylinder. <laughs> Mixing in some mayonnaise with some chicken. All right. Okay, that's nice. One layer of chicken, nice. Okay, just press it. Press it in. Oh, 
hard part. Yay! Nice. <laughs> Perfect. Wow. Wow, that was pretty easy to pull it off. This is my Causa Rellena. <laughs> Guys, I get to eat even though I didn't work at all. <laughs> now I'm going to try the one that I made. All right, it's so pretty, I don't want to eat it, but. Mmm. Oh, fantastic. I've never had this, you know, in Peru yet. So this is an incredible first try. I can't believe I got to make it. And it really does taste like some good mashed potato with a little bit of almost like if you had um, a tuna sandwich, you know, how you mix mayonnaise with tuna. It's kind of like that, but with chicken. And it's really, really tasty. And the sauce is fantastic. Nice big bite. It's very good. And honestly, it reminds me of like Southern cooking because of the potatoes. Having the mashed potatoes and the chicken with the mayonnaise, a little bit of um, lime in there. It's very nice. So have you tried pizza yet? I have. We got it in Paracas and it was really, oh, really good. Okay. Very fresh fish. You know, back in the van when Chad was squeezing it with his teeth, we should have just invested it with one of these guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now picking the leaves of the cilantro and I'm going to chop it up very, very finely. we just added all of our ingredients for ceviche into this mixing bowl. And every time you add something different, the flavor of that sauce just completely changes. So the first round was basically just lime juice and salt. And then the second round, we added in a fish broth. And then the third round, we added in milk and it changed completely every single time we added a new ingredient in. And so we have now just added in the bricotto, which adds a little bit of spice. And I think we are almost done. This is my final ceviche and apparently we have to eat it right away. So we're gonna quickly get some pictures and then taste it. I love being able to adjust that sauce to my liking. Like I think it's my perfect ceviche because I get to choose however much spice I want, however much lime and everything. So this is fantastic, so wonderful. We just finished up our ceviche and now we are going to make the lomo saltado.
is so cool. Hashtag. My Lomo Saltado. You have to make it very, very quickly, so I was working fast over there. <laughs> I didn't overcook the meat. <laughs> very good. I was so nervous because he was saying like, this is a really good cut of meat, so you can't overcook it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I hope I don't overcook it. <laughs> Way to go, Claire. So the sauce is just some soy sauce, some vinegar, and some red wine. And that's really all you need for all this flavor. And then we've got some oregano, some parsley, and some cilantro in there as well. Oh yes, and some chicken stock. And all mixes super well. I'm just really happy. <laughs> this is like the best day ever. I'm going to give it a shot. It's actually a little bit nostalgic for me because this is the first meal that I had in Peru. Mm. Oh, it's so good. He was actually telling us that this dish was originally inspired by the Chinese immigrants that came here. There are apparently a hundred thousand of them and they really influenced the cuisine here. It's cool learning about the history and then tasting it. Chad is going to give it a shot. It's a lot harder than you'd expect. It's not easy. It's very difficult. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> We're making like little like donut splotches. finished up our picarones. They are very hard to make. I didn't expect it to be this difficult, but we have a plate for Chad and a plate for me. Here we go. Very tasty. Mm -hmm. This one's a lot more um, like pumpkin yeah. tasting. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of the fall time. Mm -hmm. And the inside's very chewy. Yeah, it's really good. Mm. We just signed their guest book. If you do come in the future, you'll be able to see the little note that we wrote for them. So the cooking class is officially over and we're gonna head back towards our Airbnb in Miraflores. All right, thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, this is amazing. So that was the first cooking class I have ever done and that might have just sparked my newfound obsession with cooking classes around the world. So as you guys saw, we decided to go with a company called Sky Kitchen and their kitchen was actually on a rooftop. So mm -hmm. we were able to fly the drone over the city and it was really sweet. Yeah. And also their space was just really nice having all the plants and the um, nice diffused lighting. That was just something that I really enjoyed and their facilities yeah. were just great. Yeah, definitely. It was completely open air. So we were breathing in fresh air as we cooked Peruvian cuisine with a chef who has been cooking for 10 years. Mm -hmm. So basically we got to make four Four different dishes and you would make the dish and then you would sit down and eat it while it's fresh while it's hot and then you would go back into the kitchen make another one and then sit back down and dine and I really liked um, that little jump back and forth between eating and cooking and it was very well organized we had two wonderful teachers slash chefs um, Jose and Christian they really made the experience absolutely memorable and I definitely will be 
holding on to these mm -hmm. recipes and maybe one day when we have kids I will be cooking these recipes for our little family so I just can't wait for that. Thank you guys so much for joining Claire on her culinary journey that she has embarked on. These cooking classes are a lot of fun to participate in. Um, even though I was just filming I had such a great time. But another exciting announcement is that instead of posting a video in four days our next video will come out in two days so definitely be on the lookout for that. It will be another fun Lima culinary experience that we cannot wait to share with you guys. All right, bye.